Vogel Vlogalog. I'm back out here in this field and luckily it's not nearly as windy today and even better, it's a lot warmer. So I'm quite happy. Uh, sorry to hear about your illness, Kevin. Uh, I hope you have recovered. In fact, according to Twitter, you have recovered. And you've even got an extra month f free of body. That's, that's nice. It's very nice when uh, companies and bodies compensate you for downtime. That, so that's, that's congratulations. That's very nice. Um, but you asked a question of what we would change in, I, I'm assuming in the world or about ourselves. Um, I think those are two different things, so I'm going to answer both of them because I can. Um, problem is, I don't really know, like, what I would change about myself. I, uh, I, I, I thought about this for quite some time before sitting down to record this video, and I'm not sure what I'd want to change. I mean, like, like, there are things that I would want, like, I wish I could play the piano quite a bit better than I currently do, I mean, without having to practice a lot, but doesn't not having to practice a lot to get there ruin part of the experience? Doesn't it, doesn't it make just trivial if, like, everyone could just be there and be really good at whatever instrument? It's no longer as impressive or something like that? I mean, it ultimately brings me back to, like, an Adventure Time quote, uh, because Adventure Time is fantastic. If you haven't watched it, Jake, so he's like, there's no problems, there's no point to life, because, and I'm paraphrasing here, because if everything, if you just get everything you ever wanted all the time, life is just boring. So I'm not really sure what I want. Like, I, I'm very, I'm like visualizing in my brain. Like, genie says, you know, like, what do you want? And I'll be like, okay, I want this. Okay, you have it. I don't know. That just, that just seems to ruin everything. I mean, I mean. I guess in that situation, I would probably say an, an, an infinite bank account, because then I could just go around and do whatever the heck I want, get whatever degrees I want, do whatever the heck I want, because money lets you do lots of cool things, like travel and just make cool stuff, and make good art. I mean, and then obviously, and then going back to the world, like what would I change in the world, I don't know. Like, because you run into that same thing, like, I guess I would just say that no one would be hungry anymore and just be happy with that. Tell Mr. Genie, just not have people be hungry. Uh, and we, we can build from there. Of course, that, if you had a weird genie, it depends on how they would interpret it that way, because then we might not need food anymore. And that would probably be a double-edged sword, so to say. Um, and that would be not fun at all if we didn't like have to eat food. But that's, I mean, maybe that's a bad way of looking at it. Hmm, interesting. Uh, like, what do you guys think, actually? I'll pose this question down, you can answer it in the comments. And if you guys who are making videos happen to see this, would you take a world where we didn't need food and so therefore there was no hunger and no hunger related deaths and all that stuff, but you know, there's tons of like businesses and culture and stuff built around food that would no longer exist. Um, or would you let people die of hunger and just to keep the culture? I mean, I suppose you could still eat, but would we? I mean, what happens if we never had to eat? I don't know. That's a very theoretical question. Answer it however you wish to interpret it because I did not think of that question right now, so it's not very clear at all. And. I guess with that obscure, weird question, I will see you guys in a week. Have a nice week.